We are going to be stretched. You know, it's, it's very difficult because of the way our season is run. But uh, at least we got Roy Mahamutsa back. You know, you got Tabo Matlaba back from injury. So those two, you know, we got two extra defenders coming in. So that, that's a great help. And then there's many others. Andile Jali comes back from injury as well. So that's good to have. Uh, and obviously ne- Lennox is a, is a good inclusion. And there's obviously one or two others that we got to, you know, we know they're coming back um, and they'll help us, you know. So, you know, we, we're better now than what we were when the season ended. There's no doubt about it. It's going to be a question of, you know, can we hold out? That's a difficult process, you know, with the registration into Africa. Some players are not allowed to, you know, you can't register some players into Africa because of the limited numbers that you're allowed. So right now we're only allowed to register four. Obviously, Lennox Batello will probably be one and, and Roy Mahmoudza will be registered as well. And then the other two spots, we've got to be sure that uh, we're doing the right you know, getting the right players to be registered. Um, obviously, a goalkeeper looks like the position we're going to need with one of those leaving. So leaves us with one position only, and we've got to be sure that that position is, is going to be a position that's well needed and it's the right player as well. So the Canadian Dauda should be the, the other one? Yeah, Dauda, the, the, the goalkeeper, is, is likely to be the, the third goalkeeper right now. And in the fourth spot, like I said, you know, we're looking to see um, which areas we're going to need. And uh, if we do find a very good one, obviously that will be the one. We had to start earlier, uh, firstly, and then we had to prepare our team, you know, probably two weeks earlier than everybody else. So, yeah, it's been difficult, obviously, but, uh, yeah, so far so good. We've had a couple of runs already. Today was very good for us against Tux, um, you know, to come up against another PSL side. And uh, the, com- the competition was a lot tougher. And uh, to come away from home and, and play a game as well is important. And uh, we'll conclude our preparations on, on Sunday by going to Lesotho uh, and play a competitive game against an African team. So after that, we'll just have to, you know, touch up here and there and, and make sure we're ready for Leopards. Obviously, you, you're never happy. You're always looking for a, a Lionel Messi and, a, you know, something special out there, you know, and you never really know what, what you're going to get. So certain players sometimes look better at other clubs and when they come to you, that happens often. Uh, but yeah, we've um, the club has been aggressive. You know, they, they've, they've looked around. We've had we've had quite a few guys come and go at trials. There's been a lot of names thrown around. But it is difficult as pirates to sign players, as you know, because you know the price seems to go up every time it's pirates, and you know there's all difficulties around. It's not just a question of signing players. There's prices. There's the players wanting to come. There's contracts. There's a lot of uh, difficulties. So I understand that. And so far, so good. You know, we've we've replaced pretty well. We bought a couple of guys that were out on loan back to the club. Uh, but still, I think I think the club is still looking for one or two quality players. Right now it's at Aubrey and, and, and William Tyler, you know, Aubrey and Goma and, and William Tyler. Those two have been the most impressive without a doubt. They've already cut their teeth in the PSL. Um, they've done they've had a very good season and, and they might be ready to step up into another level. You know um, it's gonna take time for them but uh, I think they they're the two that have shown uh, enough quality. Some have been released already, as you know, uh, but we haven't finalised that yet. You know, we've got some time, as you know. We in the PSL, we we run it up until the end of August, so there will be time to, you know, to still shake up the squad and and will be, if to say, excess luggage, if you want to call it that, or players that are not going to be used by us. You know, rather let them go instead of frustrate them. Yeah. So yeah, but there's there's enough time to do that. We've got some competitive games coming up still. And we'll be able to look at them in a lot more training sessions. As you know, in the preseason, a lot of the a lot of the training is about running and getting the the fitness back. And the football's only just started, so I think in a couple of weeks, I think there will be a couple of players leaving. I think we we are on track right now. The results have come back from the players' fitness. We we right there and we where we wanted to be. They responded very well. The improvement has been massive. It's going to be a tough five weeks. There's no doubt about it. Playing in Africa, top eight, um, black label, whatever. You, in, the, in the beginning of the PSL, the games are going to come fast and furious, and that's why we carry a, a slightly more bigger squad than the average club. Um, but still, you know, we got to rely on on the quality of the players, and and um, you know, some players are going to have to play two games a week and they've got to be up to it. I think nobody gave us a chance to get where we are. And uh, under the circumstances then, with the difficulties we're having with injuries, the guys really pulled through. I mean, we, we travelled sometimes with skeleton staff, really, and, uh, and the guys really just um, you know, played out of their skins and, and were fantastic. So I think right now, if you, if you made it to the last eight, you know, it's anyone's game, really. It's, uh, we, we arrived. I think every game is going to be a quality game. Every, every opposition are going to be top opposition. That's why it's called the Champions League. So we've got to be up to it. But I think we've got a chance. I think if, if we maintain our fitness and our sharpness, and uh, I think now we might have, an, might have an advantage over the others where we're fresh, you know, as, as the, other, the other eight teams, seven teams, are, you know, they've been going over a, a grueling period. You know, we might have a slight advantage that we're fresh, but we just got to put it together and put in a run. And if we do that, you know, we've got a realistic chance. I think we've got as good a chance as anybody else.